A new witness list was released for the prosecutors in Fulton County, Georgia this week. And there's a new name on that list of, by the way, roughly 150 potential witnesses that they're going to call. So a lot of names, but one of them obviously stands out more than the others because the new name happens to be former vice president, Mike Pence. Now let's be clear about something here. Just because Mike Pence appears now on this witness list does not mean for certain that Fulton County prosecutors are going to call Mike Pence to come and testify against Donald Trump. But it does kind of imply that we're probably going to call Mike Pence to come and testify against Donald Trump. So, you know, take that for what you will. But there's another more important aspect of it. I'm going to continue on that first thought in just a moment, but, but think about this. What do we also have in Fulton County? Well, we have a, a, a defendant, Donald Trump, who loves to attack Mike Pence, right? He loves to go out there and say, Pence could have done this. Pence is a coward. Pence, 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 Pence. Well, now Pence is listed as a potential witness which means from this point forward, anytime Donald Trump goes out there and bad mouths, Mike Pence, it could be seen in the eyes of the law as witness intimidation or witness tampering, whatever you want to call it. That's a effing brilliant move on behalf of these prosecutors, because even if they do not fully intend to call Pence, they can still put him on the potential witness list, which will protect him from anything Donald Trump says. So if Donald Trump, as I said, goes out there, starts attacking Mike Pence, they could hit him with witness tampering charges, which might be the goal here, or they could also use that as justification to go ahead and slap him with a gag order. Either way, kind of seems like a really brilliant move, even if you're not going to call Mike Pence, kind of setting the Pence trap, if you will, for Donald Trump. Cause you know, he's going to attack him. Like that is coming. It may have already happened, you know, in the time you're watching this, but Trump's going to screw it up and that could open the door for more charges against him or another gag order or both. Right. We don't know, but here's the thing. If Pence does testify, which a couple months ago, Pence said he has no intention of testifying, but if he's called, He'll do it. He'll comply with the law. He says, so Pence is not going to put up any roadblocks allegedly, but if Mike Pence does get called to testify, that of course is going to be horrific for Donald Trump. I mean, Pence was a part of these conversations. He was the guy that was being told, do not certify, do not preside over this, you know, put the fake electors in there. Don't put the real electors in there. So Pence knows all the dirty little secrets of this administration and to make it even better for Mike Pence. Mike Pence got nothing to lose, right? I mean, he ended his bid uh, for the Republican nomination a month or so ago. Like he dropped out. He never gained any traction whatsoever. So he knows that his future political ambitions are dead on arrival. So he has nothing to lose politically speaking. If he goes and testifies against Donald Trump and is the guy that ends up putting Trump in jail for it. So Pence, can testify freely, clearly, and not worry about anything because Pence is going to go on after that. He'll probably be a behind the scenes guy, you know, a fundraiser, perhaps work at a big lobbying firm, maybe start his own consultancy, whatever. He'll be fine. He'll make lots of money. He could be a right wing talker, still find enough of an audience, but he could totally turn the tables against Donald Trump or his name might just be a trap to see if we can hit Trump with a new gag order or maybe some new charges. Either way, not going to end well for Donald Trump.